Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over five secret farms that you should be doing. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay so when it comes to secret farms this is kind of secret but at the end of the day it's not really known throughout everyone. So obviously we've got like a new people done to gold making. If you've been around for a long time, you probably know some of them. But at the end of the day, let's just jump in at number one, which is the Mojo Battle Pet, which can be farmed up in Zulaman. Now within Zulaman, which is in the Ghostlands, all you have to do is run in there and do not kill any of the bosses. Your main objective is to kill all of the trash besides the bosses in order to get the Amani Hex Sticks. What you'll be then wanting to do is running over to the frogs within the center of the map and then just using those sticks on the frogs. In actually doing this, you have a chance of gaining a battle pet called Mojo. Mojo can be sold on the auction house for a reasonable amount of gold and overall I find find it a very easy farm in order to do. It's one of those ones if you're feeling exceptionally lazy, you don't have to do all that much. And if you don't take out the bosses, you can then run out and reset the instance and keep doing that, so on and so forth, as this is a heroic dungeon, specifically. So, that being the case, if you do, however, want to clear, do a full clear after you've done all the frog stuff, you can also get a mount with that, that is the Amali Warbear. Aside from all of that, what you're mainly going for is the Battle Pet, and overall sells for a pretty penny on most servers. Obviously, double check your auction house before you farm this up because it does waver somewhat on some certain realms. I know for a fact on my realm, Argent Dawn, that it's only roughly around about 7,000 gold, but on some other realms, it can go all the way up to like stupid amounts of gold. So it's worth double checking before you go ahead and do this farm. Now, coming in at number two is the spawn of Gilnathus. Now, Gilnathus is located within the Taolong Steps, and he is at the top of the Taolong steps on one of those massive islands and technically not on the island he's on the outskirts what you'll be wanting to do is get on your flying mount and fly around the waters you will see a massive eel which is Gilnathus and basically all you have to do is then just kill him and loot him he has a hundred percent drop chance of giving you this battle pet so basically you're just looking for the rare and Basically, the spawn of Gilnathus, unfortunately so, since the removal of the Potion of Luck from ages ago, um, not many people actually go over to the Tower of Steps anymore. This, this has given the price for the spawn of Gilnathus to actually go up over the years, and now is actually very viable in actually order to farm up. Now, I personally find this a great method in order to make a reasonable amount of gold's worth of battle pets, and is a great way in order to pad out your battle pet market. So, it's an eel battle pet, and overall, very easy to farm up, and sells for a few thousand gold. So it's worth parking an alt there, doing one lap when you log on for the day, and then just log on to your next character and just go do whatever you're going to do. So very easy in order to do and it's a few thousand gold just for logging on and flying around a little island to see if he's there. If not then you can just log back out and uh, log back in like an hour later and see if he's up. But other than that guys that is pretty much all I have to say for the spawn of Gilnathus farm. So let's just jump over to number three which is the Pyrewing farm. Now I covered this a while back on my insane respawn thing and basically this was actually highlighted by a YouTuber called Rune Cool. Now, obviously, I made a video about it and I already credited him for it, but I wanted to shout this out again because it's such a good farm. Basically, all you have to do is pop a potion of treasure finding and stand in a specific location. Now, that being the case, all you'll be killing is the dragons and you'll just be burning them down. This is a great way in order to make a reasonable amount of gold for pretty much not even moving that much, especially if you're on a druid and you just slash target, pyre, and then just slash cast, moon fire. You can just basically just have it on auto where you're just pressing a button and watching Netflix. It's the most easiest gold farm to do and 
I think more people should do it because it's just so easy to do. Now obviously if you are a multi-boxer you can get more for it, um, but other than that not many people still do it. I was flying over there the other day and still not many people actually farming this up. This could be due to the fact that not many people want to just spend their time just spamming something, they want to be active or something like that. But if you wanted to find an AFK farm this is definitely something you should be doing. Now that being the case guys, let's move on to number four, which is the Gloop Battle Pet. Where do you get this Battle Pet? Now, to farm up Gloop, all you have to do is fly over to Alden and basically make sure that your ends of invasions are up. All you would have to do then is just fly over there and start fishing in any of the pools for the for the void fin and the malformed gnashers. Basically any of the fishing pools that are all dotted around the river on which you would actually farm up whip, whip tail in the regular zone, what you'll be doing is flying up and down fishing up pools. This has a chance of dropping a battle pet called Gloop which can be sold on the auction house for a very very pretty penny. Now I didn't actually know about this actual drop from all of these pools a while back and if I did, uh, damn, I've actually missed out on some gold right there. So I'm bringing it to light for you guys in order to increase your gold per hour, so to speak. So don't sit in one spot when you're fishing up all of your malformed gnashes and your void fins. Actually go ahead and try and fish up the pools as it has a chance of dropping that battle pet for you, which sells for a nice little uptick for that fishing farm. It actually increases the gold per hour quite dramatically if you are lucky enough to get that drop. Now that being the case guys, that is the Gloop Battle Pet at number four. Now coming in at number five is Arcane Tomes. Now Arcane Tomes and Marks of Sargeras, where would I go about farming that? Now my first instance would be go over to Shadow Labyrinth and farm that up like a crazy man. Now, I'm not so sure. What you'd be wanting to do for this one is to go all the way over to the Isle of Queldenas and outside of the Sunwell instance. Now, you don't want to go inside the Sunwell, but what on the outside is you have the Blood Elves and you also have the Demons. The, now, the ones that you do want to be farming up is the Blood Elves, but you can also farm up the Demons. Basically, if you have a, if you can create yourself a macro or if you're just really fast at killing things, these guys will start spawning, hyper spawning very, very fast. This is because there has to be a maximum amount of these numbers as it was an old world daily questing zone. So the more mobs that die, the more will spawn, so to speak. So it's a kind of a hyper spawn, kind of. So what I would recommend for this one is basically have a macro set up in order to basically kill all of these mobs. What you'll be wanting to do then is just by looting every like one minute 50 seconds or every two minutes if you really want to be uh, if you really want to be uh, very more specific about that but I like to do one minute every one minute 50 seconds just because it's just so much easier for me to do but other than that I do find this to be a great farm in order to farm up arcane tomes which do sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold and especially with this farm you can get a mass quantity of these items. This is because they are used for reputation with the scryer and the outdoor. Now obviously this gives you access to loads of different things when you are uh, when you do have your reputations up with this and they sell at a reasonable sell rate as well Also goes hand in hand as a transmog farm as well because you'll be killing so many mobs more of those items will be dropping and Overall your gold per hour will increase so if you really wanted to actually farm this up I would see I would suggest actually doing that also on a little side note if you do a little lap around you can also pick up a load of the ores which no one seems to touch anymore because no one goes to the Isle of Queldenas to farm it up. So that is something that you may want to bear in mind overall. Now that being the case guys, that is five secret farms that you should be doing. Hopefully some of you guys have actually learned some new farms for this and I have found this to be quite insightful and to be honest I probably will be doing the Arcane Tomes one as well in a future upcoming video. Other than that guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.